Comedy Film Festival. We've got Austin Comedy Film Festival Fall 2022 coming up. Not too far away, just in early November. We're going to be at the Austin Film Society Cinema screening all kinds of comedy films. You name it, music videos, uh, series episodes, dark comedy, horror comedy, um, you know, romantic comedy. We've got it all, all kinds of comedy. We have a film here directed by Evan Pearson. Hey, Evan. Hey there. And his Thanks film for is, me, Michael. is yeah, man. I, of course, we're gonna have you nominated for the best comedy <laughs> film award. Are you kidding me? With hot sauce, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. We <laughs> are excited, but I, I, I'm the guy who always gives away the story and just ruins the joke. So can ah, you okay. please, yeah, <laughs> tell me what the synopsis is of this film. Yeah. So the synopsis of Hot Sauce is about a man named Charlie and his friend named Terrence. And uh, they go out to lunch, and Terrence kind of peer pressures Charlie into getting uh, the hottest wings in the state. It's won some awards. It's pretty pretty intense. And just, uh, you know, but the, the intensity that follows, is Charlie going to actually go through with this? Is he going to eat the hot wings? And uh, that's kind of, the, that's the whole gist of the story, is about a man being peer pressured into eating some ridiculous hot wings. So, yeah. Anytime I go to a place that has that chart, and the wings just like there's like more and more little pepper emblems beside it like oh yeah it, it's just always it's like where's the 911 you know like you, you, they should have a nurse on standby or something because people oh, just totally. go for it it's like why are you poisoning yourself i agree Although, i agree with entirely <laughs> well good premise uh, what creatively i mean was this inspired by like a real thing like what happened here yeah partially you know growing up i uh, I'm the youngest in a family of six and uh, three of those other brothers are boys and they love hot things. And my dad loves hot flavored things. And I always wanted to, like I always wanted to so bad. I, I'm weak. I have a weaker tongue than they do. So I've always had that relationship where I want to be as tough as my brothers, but I wasn't, you know, when it came to eating hot stuff. And so I, uh, what kind of inspired it was I wrote this title in my idea journal called hot sauce pride comes before the burn and that's kind of sometimes when i'm coming up with video ideas or song ideas whatever it is i'll just write a title and that was just sitting in uh, my idea journal for a long time and last year i went to second city film school based in chicago and it was time to make our final project and i was looking at those titles and came across hot sauce pride comes before the burn and i was thinking you know what is that story what actually would happen and so i kind of pulled on you know some real emotions and of like Oh yeah, I love hot sauce. You know, it's great. And lying through your teeth just to impress whoever you're with. And I wanted to write a scenario where it really backfired on the character and it just got more and more intense as the wings got closer to coming to uh, right in front of him. So that was kind of the inspiration from it. A little bit of uh, real life and just just thinking through how terrible that scenario would be if I was in it. So That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, the, getting into your story as far as creatively i get where it's coming from but on a technical level while you were shooting this thing is there anything that you learned was it a little piece of, piece of film school for you yeah i mean i i think i learned the most was all the people who helped me film it were through friends so mm -hmm. one of the biggest things i took away from this was my first like short film project i'd ever actually gone after that wasn't just a fun little youtube video it was more like hey we're gonna actually have a production a crew a set is that but I learned how like, you know, use your friends, like if they, they want to help out and using the resources that you have available to you. I wasn't actually able to film it in Chicago. I came back to Redding, California to film it. And I'm super blessed to have some really rad friends here in town and they're all passionate about film. And I just pulled on them and they were willing to help me create this. And what was really cool is where I was weak in a lot of those areas, just as a growing filmmaker, you had these, you know, young like people who were very good at it. And so, one of the biggest things I learned is don't try to do everything by yourself, which is something I've always tried to do in previous projects where I'll take on this, I'll do that, I'll do this. It's actually getting people in your corner that have skills and they want to flex those skills and create something. So it was that was a really cool opportunity. Um, I would say that was a positive. The one thing, the other thing I learned would be, man, it goes fast when you're filming. Like the film shoot days go by quick. And so I didn't get some pickup shots that I wanted. And that's it's totally okay, but you it it goes it goes quick when you're filming a lot faster than I anticipated it to be when you're actually rolling. It's long days, but you're like, oh my gosh, we're we're already to the end of our our time scheduled to be in this restaurant, and so just having it really pre-planned helped out a ton. 
uh, all mm. the pre-production work is vital. Uh, so luckily we pulled it off and had a really good time. They say time is the most valuable asset on a film set, you know, yeah. and uh, it's so true when you, when you get that reinforced on a film, it's like, you never had enough time for this location. Never had enough time oh, yeah. to get ready. You need to reset everything you need. So, well, cool, man. Well, is there anything you're working on in the future that uh, you can tell us about? Yeah, I have a, you know, it's all in the works. It's just a dream. A lot of the stuff I'm working on is like, oh, I'd love to do that someday. I, I love um, I love stories that take place in kind of country Western settings. And uh, me and my brothers are songwriters. We love, love to write music. And we have an idea for a web series, maybe a mini series that it revolves around three brothers trying to save the family farm through country music. And uh, it's all in such in idea stage right now. A couple of scripts are being written, but hopefully within the, you know, Next year or two, we'll have uh, some to show people, which I'm excited about. All right. Was there anything you want to add before we get out of here? I would love to thank you, Michael. Thanks so much for having me here. And I'd love to thank the judges of the Austin Film Festival for selecting Hot Sauce. We're so excited. All uh, the whole crew um, is really amped about it. And so we're just super grateful to be a part of this event. And uh, yeah, excited to, to see what happens. All right, my friend. Thank you so much for your work. Makes us look good. Congrats on your nomination, and we're looking forward to seeing this one in Austin. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michael. Take it easy.